Hi folks, in this video I'd like to show you my bench centre conversions that I've made for doing crankshafts on the top here using the using the bearings rather than using the dead centres on the ends. Um, so I've got a, an XR250 old school air cooled end, uh, crankshaft and um, as you can see I'm checking it, pre-checking it prior to uh, doing any work. And we're running at about 0.3, like one and a half out there, so that's that's within spec there. It's between 0.25 and 3, somewhere in there. So that's uh, I always take a reading, a measurement before I if I take any crunch apart to see what they were like before. Gives you an idea of uh, how much stress an engine's had, or whether it's been in part apart before, basically. So we'll uh, move the uh, the arm out of the way, and I'll show you the uh, the actual things that I've actually made, and uh, they consist of two. I'll zoom in closer. They consist of two um, back plates, two aluminium back plates, which fit onto two Morse tapers, which fit into the into the headstocks. And uh, I've made these from pillow block bearings. They've got like they've got a crown on the top, and you get a you get a much truer reading if the bearings touching only on a, on a on a knife edge versus a flat bearing. Um, you get less in, in discrepancies that way. So we'll uh, remove one of those and we'll show you it. Um, they're quite simple to make. Two normal pillow block bearings. Focus. Yep, and uh, two brass axles, and they're pressed. They're pressed onto there, into the centre of the bearings, and then two countersunk screws, stainless screws onto the axles, and a two Morse taper, and they're basically fit into where your dead centre would, where you take it like a dead centre. They fit into the same taper, and before you uh, start using it, it's advisable to uh, just set the level to make sure the level's perfect. Which is about there. Then uh, gently tap that into the taper, just gently to lock it in, and double check the level just to make sure it hasn't moved, <coughs> which it has. And there we go. That's tight, so that's ready. Double check again. That's level now. And then level it up like that on both sides before you actually place the crank on. Place the crank on gently, and that's uh, that's my conversion to doing a top register measurement rather than between centres. Quite simple and easy to make. And uh, I cut this out on the bandsaw and dressed it all up. And uh, relatively cheap. The the dearest part was the the bearings. Come to about twenty pounds to make that. And uh, so you've got best of both worlds there, and you can uh, do crankshafts. They've got an iffy centre on the in, in the middle. Sometimes the centres are damaged, but the shafts are okay. So that's uh, my conversion for my uh, verdict. These are verdict uh, bent centres made in Japan, and uh, many years old, probably 60 years old, and still as as good as the day they were made. And uh, my clocks, um, I mean, made by Mercer of Switzerland and uh, they're pretty good. These are the heavy duty type and uh, in the 0.1 mil, mil range and uh, the actual the magnetic bases are by Dasqua which is a really high quality I think they're made in India now um, they're really really good with the fine fine tuning on the top there. Yeah, overall it's uh, a decent setup and this is what it's something you want to be aiming for if you if you're going to do if you're going to do rep repetitious work something with high quality like this. And uh, there, are other, there are other ways to do it, but this is, this is the the surest way for getting the best results. And I'm just seeing that there again. It's not 0.25 of a millimeter, which is about one and a half now, or thereabouts. And that would be within spec there. So that's my conversion for my. The uh, verdict bench centers with the, uh, the top top measurement. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy.